many people try to confuse the ordinary people, be it you know ordinary masses, even the media, even uh, the so-called intelligentsia, that it's a political problem. You know, Kashmir is a political problem. We need a political dialogue for a solution. That's absurd. You know, the roots of the problem are in Islamist terrorism. The roots are in Islamist groups backed by, unfortunately, some mainstream politicians and separatists as well, who actually want a nizam e mustafa who actually want an Islamist state with Islamic Sharia law to be adopted in Jammu and Kashmir. That will never happen. Indian government will never let it happen. The ordinary Kashmiri will also never let it happen because they have borne the fruits of India's democracy and secularism. They've seen how India is such a vast country, how the education system in India is flourishing so much. Kashmiris, uh, Kashmiri Muslims mainly, you know, who reside presently because Kashmiri pundits have been ousted. There are just a few hundred left in the valley now. Uh, so Kashmiri Muslims who work, who study all across in Indian, you know, institutions from IIT to IIM to top medical colleges, uh, AIMS, etc. Uh, no that you know once an islamist society actually comes into existence where terrorism is the you know order of the day where uh, hizbul mujahideen and jaish e mohammed will rule there will be no education there will be no progress there will be no development there will be no money in their bank account 